All right, so I figured like if I draw it like this, like you can imagine this is the head right here, this is the person's neck, right? And then this is their body, you know, going out. And then up top here uh, would be the brain, right? And you gotta imagine that the brain is divided in half. So your right and my right are different compared to the person we're looking at, right? So this is the, the person's right, this is the person's left. And then we have, um, blood vessels that are coming up, right? We have one coming up here to this side. We call them carotid arteries. And then we have the other carotid artery coming up here, right? So this would be the left carotid artery. And then this one over here would be the right. But let's say, you know, somebody has um, a clot or something. What happens here is you're gonna get a blockage, right? So you're trying to have the the blood flow up but it can't right it's being it's being blocked here so what's going to happen is this side of the brain is going to suffer damage and what's going on is the right side of the brain controls the left side of the body so what you're going to happen is you're going to have in the arms and legs you're going to have weakness in the arms and the legs and then in the face, you're gonna have also weakness, weakness of the facial muscles. So you have what's called a facial droop. So basically, somebody tries to smile, but they can't, they can't lift up the smile. So normally, you know, you would have a smile that's like this, right? The person on both sides, but if the right side of the brain is damaged, then the left side can't smile. So what happens is the right can go up, but then the left side is down. So they call this, this is the facial droop right here. The difference between a TIA versus an actual like, um, an actual stroke, I'll show you, is that if you have the organ right here, let's say the organ is the brain, right? We'll draw them on both sides right here. And then you have the blood vessel that's leading to that organ, all right? A stroke means you're gonna have like the blood the blood is trying to flow up correct and it's trying to make it to the organ but when you cut off the blood flow usually due to like a clot that gets stuck it's permanent right you can't get oxygen because oxygen travels in the blood so it can't make it to there so what happens is the cell begins to die the same thing was happening over here in a TIA right you're having a temporary the only difference is here it's a temp it's a temporary blockage. Over here, it's, it's a permanent blockage until they remove it. Or it's, it's a long enough blockage, they can remove it, but it's long enough that the damage here is irreversible, irreversible damage. Here as the damage starts, but we're able to clear the claw out fast enough so that these tissues actually will end up, they'll end up okay, they'll come back. So it is reversible. So the difference between TIA and stroke is in TIA the damage is reversible because you restore the blood flow fast enough to get the oxygen so the cells don't die versus an actual stroke or an actual heart attack where the damage is irreversible. The same thing applies for angina. When you hear about angina, angina is like a TIA. TIA involves the brain, angina involves the heart. Stroke involves the brain, heart attack obviously um, involves the heart. So that's the difference. So even though you know you don't want damage, whether it's reversible or irreversible, these are what we would call, I guess, blessings in disguise. Because if you better your health, you won't happen, you won't lead into that, which is a warning sign next.